Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this spring evening look that I created today using the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave palette. Um, so if you want to know how I created this, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is moisturising and I'm using the Nivea Pure and Natural Moisturising Day Cream. Um, my skin's been feeling really, really dry at the moment and I always find this really helps to hydrate it. Next I'm going to prime and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer. I'm just going to dot that on my face and then rub it in using my fingers. I'm just clipping my hair out of the way now to make me look like Miranda Sings, really attractive. Uh, next I'm just going to use some strobe cream. This is the Freedom Pro Studio Strobe Cream. Just going to, as always, dot that on my cheekbones my chin, my nose and on my forehead and then just rub that in using my fingers. I'm just using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade 020 True Ivory. I'm just dotting this on my spots and then blending that in using my fingers. Moving on to foundation, I'm using Rimmel London Lasting Finish in the shade 100 Ivory. This is my favourite drugstore foundation, it's absolutely amazing. I'm just going to blend that all in using my damp beauty blender by Real Techniques. Moving on to concealer, I'm using Collection Last and Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just going to put that under my eyes, onto my chin and on my nose, just really all the high points of my face. This works as my highlighter. And on my spots, because I'm having a really spotty time. I'm just going to blend that in using that same damp blender. I find um, using a damp one just makes that concealer and foundation blend in so much better. Now on to powder, I am using Rimmel London Stay Matte in the shade 001 Transparent. Um, this is awesome, awesome powder. I think I said in my last video it's my new favourite. And I'm using a different bronzer today. This is MUA Mosaic Bronzer Natural Glow Shade 1. It's really, really beautiful, this stuff. blush and highlight I'm using a makeup revolution product and I got this in a set for Christmas so I think it only came in the set um, but there is a new palette out called golden sugar 2 which has got very similar colors to this um, and that's beautiful so I'll leave that linked below so you can go check that out I'm using the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Perfect Brows as usual. Um, I've gone back to my trusty shade of hot cocoa because I felt like chestnut was just a little too warm for me. Um, hot cocoa is the perfect shade for me. So yeah, I've gone back to that one. I do actually want to try a new eyebrow product out if anyone recommends any. I want to try the dip pomades out so if you've got any good dupes for any of them let me know in the comments below. And 
I'm just going to set that using more brows. I got this in my birch box for last month. Moving on to eyes, again I'm using Fortune Favours the Brave by Makeup Revolution and the British Beauty Blogger. To start off with, I'm going to go in with Soft and just cover my whole lid with that. I'm then going to go in with the shade Cashmere and just work that through my crease. I'm going to start off very, very lightly and build that up very slowly. So you can see I've took a tiny, tiny bit on the end of my brush and I'm slowly building that up. I didn't edit any of this out so you can see how long it takes me to build that colour up. I'm then taking my MAC 217 blending brush and I'm just blending that out. I'm then going to take the shade Favour and all I'm going to do with that is just put that on the flat side of the brush and press that into my lid. So I really just sort of working halfway across. Then taking the fluffy side of the brush, I'm just going to sort of blend them two colours in together. I'm then going to get a Real Techniques detailer brush and go in with the shade New World, just to act as a bit of a highlighter. When I've done my other eye, I actually put this more um, in my sort of tear duct area. I've then got my E10 brush by Makeup Revolution and the shade Black Qua and that's going to act as my liner. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush and take that along my lash line. I then just got the flat ended brush again and went back in with that shade Favour just underneath my eye to make them stand out a little bit more. Now on to lashes, I'm using the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. I got this as a tester when I went into MAC a few weeks ago and I absolutely love it. I'll definitely be purchasing it. For lips today I'm going to be giving you two options. First option is the Kylie Jenner Candy K Lip Liner. I'm sure there are loads and loads of dupes around for this. Um, it's just a really light, soft, nude colour, um, so keep a look out. Um, I'm gonna line my lips with that, then I'm going to use the MAC Honey Love Matte Lipstick. These two shades work perfectly together. Honey Love is slightly lighter, and I think that's what I like about it. Makes my lips look really, really plump and big and they're not really so yeah works really well I really really like that I'm now just going to line my lips again using the Candy K lip liner and then I'm going to go in with the Candy K matte liquid lipstick um, Kylie Jenner has done a great job with these they smell beautiful they go on wonderf wonderfully, they last all day, they're so worth the money, they're really really good. this is the finished look. It's a really nice bright glowy spring look. Um, I'm sorry the end of this video is slightly out of focus. If 
it's too much of a problem, let me know. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.